Hey what's going on guys my name is Ravi and welcome back to another Adobe After Effects tutorial from Era Effects So in this video we'll be learning to make this warp transition effect in a very simple and easy way So I have a couple of videos in my project let me drag one of the video onto the small icon here so that a composition is created with that video settings and let me play this video for you there's this drone shot of mountains and i also have another video and i'll drag this onto my composition and this video is just a drone shot of a bridge and now i want to create a transition between these two clips at 4 second mark here so i'll move this topmost video to 4 seconds and i'll select both the videos and tap t on my keyboard so that the opacity property opens up and I'll click on this timer button here for opacity so that a keyframe is created for both the videos and now I'll select the topmost video and set the opacity to 0 and I'll move 2 seconds forward at around 6 second mark I'll increase the opacity to 100 of the topmost clip and reduce the opacity of the bottommost clip to 0 so you'll have a smooth dissolve transition once you do it so now we'll be adding some distort transition to do that i'll first create an adjustment layer i'll go to layer and from new i'll click on adjustment layer i'll drag the adjustment layer to the top and i'll then go to the effects and presets panel and type in optics so you have this effect called optics compensation here if you don't find this fx and presets panel go to window and ensure that fx and presets is checked optics compensation effect from the distort folder and i'll drag this onto my adjustment layer so now i'll go to the four second mark here and i'll click on this timer button here for field of view i'll go to around one second forward at 5th second, I'll change the field of view to 150. Alright, and at the last frame, I'll change this back to 0. So now, you can see that we have some sort of black border along the distort effect. To fix that, I'll check this reverse lens distortion. So now if I start playing the video, you can see that this is how the transition is happening between both these clips. So you can see that we have a smooth dissolve transition along with some warp effect added to it and that is what we need. I hope you found this video helpful and if that's the case, give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to talk with me regarding visual effects and video editing, you can always reach out to me on Instagram at VFXKairavi. See you guys next time with another tutorial.